Yo, what's up? This is Ice Cubes, and I've pretty much been working on this right here for you, well, all my subscribers, and anyone who's watching my video. And it'll look something like that. And, well, yeah, it'll cut off here, but don't worry about that. Alright. So basically I'm going to give you an overview on how you are going to edit this so it works out for you. As you can see at the moment it's just your logo. The pictures aren't really that relevant right now. I've just taken these off the internet and that's a background I did for a friend quickly. So we got the whole particle world going. We got your YouTube channel down here, your logo or just type in maybe say I could have ice and then cubes or something there alright as you can see these start spinning as well everyone spins once and you've got film text well film one text down the side you can change that say to girls graphic design or something like that and YouTube backgrounds I don't know something like that so yeah I'm pretty much going to tell you how to edit this so it works out for you. When you open it up, you'll realize that there's pictures and video footage. You can replace these with actual video footage and it will still work. So don't worry about that. It probably would look better. As you can see, image 1 is her, image 2 that, and image 3 is that currently. At the moment, these are my files you will want to be replacing them with your files. Currently I've got nothing in there so I'll show you what to do if you want one in there. Go to say a picture or a video you want. I just downloaded this super quickly. I just typed in hello off the internet. Bring it in and drag it into your files so it's in here. All right. say you want to change frame 1 I've got it right here frame 1 is going to be the film frame number 1. You can change the text right here by typing in anything you want. Just try not to alter the size or anything because it's sort of stuck with it. Film strip 1, completely leave this. I'm actually even going to lock it so you don't have to try and touch it. As you see it won't let you. Image 1, to replace this hold down alt, drag the image above it and drop it on. After that, you will need to get the selection tool and, well, you can scale it down by pressing S on your keyboard like that, but it's not really going to do it very well. So just use the corners and try to move it into the box so that it looks correct, if that makes any sense to any of you. I'm hoping a lot of you already sort of have a good idea about after effects and when that's done hopefully it should oh crap um scrap all what I just did there you'll want to open up the transform here and go all the way to this very end keyframe right on here as I said I hope you already sort of have a good idea about this and on that last keyframe for position put the hello kitty where you want it to be and there we go it's following it on every keyframe and the last one should be the one where it's sort of basically in the middle you can do this for every other one just remember change the text these will all be locked from now image 2 make sure the transform you are doing it where you put your new image and scale it make sure it's on the last keyframe right here of position and same goes for frame 3 final as you can see it, your logo right here is this bit you can change it to anything you want such as this as I said before and you'll see it suddenly changes in here there's not much more to do everything's already pre-done unless you wanted to change the colours I guess but you sh if you want to do that you've got to know what you're doing 
So, film strip one effect. i um, never change the colours of these. You could probably go hue and saturation and change the master hue, and it may do something. It may not. Doesn't really look like it is doing anything right now. But if you really want to do that. I'm sure you can figure it out yourself <laughs> and obviously your YouTube channel is it's gonna be here I'll just move it along so yeah you can just double click that get to this bit and say put well your YouTube channel and as you can see in the final render, mine has changed to hello and the hello kitty, I guess. YouTube.com forward slash ice cubes HD and ice cubes is in the middle. If you want have a normal logo, I'm sure you could replace it. Um, yeah, you should be able to actually replace it with this, but I would say try and keep it in the same size area as this right here you don't want to go to over or else it will look stupid and be over the lines right here and that's all for today thanks a lot for my subscribers watchers viewers and i hope you all enjoy having this intro for free thanks yo sorry about that one last thing i forgot to actually cover is the final render this. You don't actually have to do anything unless you have re... well you rendered it and then you realised you messed up and needed to change something. It's already in the render queue. I've got it on custom FLV because it just renders at a very low file size what will make it much quicker to upload to your channel. So if you want to change all these and you know what you're doing this is the render queue. All you have to do is hit render right here and it will start loading at the top of the bar if you haven't got that go to composition make movie ignore this this will this will come up and it will be all these what I have my settings as is I leave all this actually I use frame rate 30 because otherwise I just do I put the output module to FLV and I have my format options normally on 5000 but it doesn't really matter because it's on oh, what's it? the variable bitrate or something or something like that I don't know I don't have any audio output at the moment and I don't have it on resize and that's pretty much it you can rename it here to what you want it as and that's fine and then yeah just hit render and you should be good to go thanks cheers and the links will be in the bottom of the project and the video to download alright thanks a lot bye